Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have a little chit chat get ready with me, but it's gonna be my new series. Let's talk about it. Basically, I'm gonna be going over some of the little updates that I've noticed or just wanna talk about like price decreases and price increases for a couple brands. If you guys are interested to see my little updates, then just keep watching. <music> Okay, so let's get started. So I have my Louis Vuitton packing cube, which I honestly use every single day and I just get so excited every single night to pack it. I feel like every single person on YouTube has been making like an Hermes journey reaction video to the lawsuit and I thought about making a video too, but to be honest, a lot of you guys know I've not started my Hermes journey at all. So for me, I feel like my opinion doesn't really matter, nor do I have the experience to talk about it. From the videos that I've watched and the things that I've seen on reddit of what people have to say and their input on it I feel like I have solidified my opinion on the whole situation I definitely feel like Hermes should have the transparency my opinion is speaking from the standpoint of someone that isn't on their Hermes journey I'm a bag collector as you guys probably know is that I would love to have a Birkin one day just because it's an Hermes Birkin and if you collect bag that's like the final boss that you need to face in your back collection journey so for me i'm in absolutely no rush into getting a birkin i remember like two years ago that's when social media and just people getting a birkin really really blew up i mean i feel like when you're in the bag loving community everyone knows about the hermes birkin because they talk about it in movies and stuff like that but it's really hit mainstream status just in the last few years i feel like on youtube so many people got a birkin 25 all in the super neutral colors you'll see the gold on gold or the black with gold or etoupe with palladium hardware i feel like those are like the trinity birkins for neutral birkins if i ever got a birkin i would want to get a birkin 25 and definitely a color just seeing how some people are saying like oh it's just a bag you don't need to shop with hermes if you're offended by it then they don't want your money anyways and i mean i feel like that's such a yes that is a valid statement if you have an issue with the game then you don't need to participate but then on the other hand from just what i read the issue isn't about oh i want a birkin because some people are saying the people that are suing are just upset that they're not getting a birkin and now they for sure won't get one but i feel like the main issue is the transparency how it is unfair when you think about it at least in america because i do know that at least cassie thorpe says that in the uk there's just a waitlist system which i think is super fair you put in your wish list and then you're just waiting it could be a year two years five years but at least you know that one day it'll come whereas you hear stories in america where the essays are people that you basically not have to beg to give you something i mean i guess some because i read some forums that say that certain clients will buy their essays like a gift to kind of bribe them in like indirectly i mean getting a gift for an essay i think is totally fine if you're close with your essay and you genuinely love and appreciate them go for it but to feel the need to buy your essay a gift from hermes i feel like that's just that's when it gets kind of muddy and then the other issue is i do feel like it's unfair you hear some people say like oh i walked into the store and then i got offered a bag then there's other people that are spending fifty thousand dollars plus and they're not getting a bag i feel like the principle of that is really unsettling because it isn't fair if they were just transparent like okay all essays in america will only offer you a bag if you spend fifty thousand dollars it's like yeah that in and of itself is not fair but i think it's just the lack of transparency is my main issue if you see people that have only bought like two pillows and a blanket and then all of a sudden they're offered their dream gold on gold birkin whereas there's other people that are buying like a bunch of twillies and teacups and plates and they buy all these other xyz things and then they're not offered the bag of their dreams i think that is unfair like blanket statement another issue that i have with just with the things that i've been reading how people feel the need to have to buy bags that are offered to them that aren't what they want like for example i've read some posts where people get offered a lindy and they can't reject the lindy because if they reject the lindy then they won't be offered a birkin i i just i don't like that where you have to feel 
guilty you're buying a bag that you're not 10 out of 10 you might not hate the bag but it's not a bag that you're like absolutely obsessed with and that's where i find the issue so you're telling me that i have to buy a bag that i don't want like a pillow is cute it's aesthetic like you can learn to love it and use it put it on a couch or something like that but it's like i have to spend four thousand dollars on a bag that i don't really care about just to get the bag that i actually want and that's what i don't like i wish there was a way where if you just buy even one thing no matter the price point of it whether it's like a pair of sandals or a pillow and a blanket whereas the moment that you even buy one thing they ask you like oh when i create your profile for you let me know your top three wishlist bags i hate that the name of the game is the essay has to ask like give you the opportunity to make a wish list i don't know exactly how that works for example the three bags if i were to get an hermes bag the birkin 25 definitely i am in absolutely no rush to get that i feel like i felt pressured at one point like oh my god like there are people that are like 21 years old and then they're getting offered like three birkins and a kelly brand new from store da -da 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 -da. but then honestly i've always liked bags for the last like 15 plus years and the birkin was always to me end goal also side note is that i've been using my lancome concealer purely because zendaya is a lancome brand ambassador and you see her constantly in the news doing promotions for her movies and i'm like you know what i'm gonna use this concealer this concealer is just like a shade too dark for me but you know we're still gonna give it a go if i really had to narrow down three bags that i want from hermes it would be the hermes birkin 25 a picotine 18 and then honestly a her bag just for like the casual aspect but for example if i was on that journey and my essay was telling me i have to buy the lindy if i want to get a birkin later i would just be so off put by it it's just because that's not what i want but i have to buy it just to get what i want i feel like that concept is very interesting but i mean hermes has been in the game for a long time i feel like at the end of the day it is just a bag but at the same time i I don't like it when people say that because it's like it might just be a bag to you but it's not just a bag to somebody else it could be like a collector like like my dad collects coins and you can say like well it's just a coin like who cares but for my dad it's like it's super special he puts it in a little plastic container and all that stuff to keep it from getting oxidized so to me it isn't just a bag like I understand when people say that but people will have different things that they aspire to and like building a collection so long story short my opinion on the Hermes situation is just transparency I mean I would prefer the waitlist system but it would be nice if Hermes essays just said it from the get-go like hey I know you want to get a Birkin but I need you to hit this amount in this category and then I'll give it to you like if they even were transparent like if you buy one fine jewelry piece two ready to wears and a blanket then you'll get one then you're like okay I know what's going on but how Having that kind of question mark of I'm dropping $50,000 still not getting a Birkin whereas another random person next to me getting offered a Birkin after just spending like one or two things I feel like that's when it kind of hits the territory of like oh a little bit unfair but yeah I've been really loving this like merit stick recently it's just really light I used to have the hourglass foundation sticks I wanted it to work so bad just because I love hourglass as a brand but it was just so cakey it would seep into my pores whereas this is like it's just really really natural I really like it I usually layer my concealer just in general and speaking of hourglass I also have the tint Okay, I spent way too long talking about the Hermes things. I'm going to try to run through the rest. So I'm going to do my brows now. And the next thing I want to talk about is the Chanel price increase. Just really quickly, some little updates it did happen on March 27th. I honestly think it's so wild that so many people panic bought in January. But what's interesting though is that the 22 bags didn't get touched at all. This is my issue of why when Chanel has those statements of it's because of inflation, the cost of making things, da 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 Okay. So then it's like, if it's the cost of production, then shouldn't everything across the board go up? Why is it? Because you still have to make all the bags, no? So why is it only the most popular, the most sought out classic flap, the one that gets the highest increase? You guys know the Chanel flaps have gotten their increase, which we do not need to discuss. But what I found interesting though, is that the Chanel 22s it didn't get a price increase and the Chanel SLGs did not. I literally took a screenshot before the 27th of the Chanel flat card holder and it's literally the same exact price now, which is $500. Even though I just bought my Celine flat card holder, there's just something about Chanel that I want to collect. It's just very satisfying. Their caviar card holder specifically, so the flat or the flap, I definitely see myself buying 
one more this year depending on the color of course i need to double check on the flat card holders but the flat ones for sure did not get a price increase so that is good and then speaking of chanel bags really quickly oh my word so two of you guys have actually dm'd me one of them um i believe i'm gonna put her youtube channel down below but she actually sent me two chanel bags from the real real and she was like maggie you were talking about these two bags on your video and i was like girl why would you do this to me so basically if you guys have seen that previous video i talked about that the first chanel bag ever to get away from me was the chanel it's literally called chanel like maxi flap with the chain around it and i saw a picture of ashley tisdell having it and that's when that was the moment that i first found out what seasonal meant and because i was still like really young the shade that she has like this like taupey brown shade they have that on the real real okay imagine a maxi bag for three thousand dollars whereas a chanel walk current price is basically four thousand dollars so i'm getting a maxi sized bag that's super cute i believe there's a back pocket i need to double check three thousand and oh girl like she so tempted me but i told myself i i need to get my micro detroit because if i derail and get that maxi flap i know i'm just, i'm still going to be thinking about my djoy keeping my eyes on the prize and doing that but then oh my word she also sent me the chanel purse with the top handle in the lilac color <gasps> i nearly gasped for air however i believe it was 2500 still or maybe it was like 2200 but for me i just don't feel like that bag is worth it unless it hits 2000 or below or honestly 1900 or less i really don't want to pay for something so small that's like two thousand dollars and to top it off it's used and i just kept clicking it every single day i was like i need someone to buy this because i am so tempted because that lilac color is so so cute also i've been using this blush in heliotrope because two beauty gurus that i follow they've hit pan on this color and it's literally like a barely there shade so if you want a blush shade that literally is barely there i would totally recommend heliotrope or i know uh what is it the mario makeup by mario blush i think it's called barely blushing or something i feel like this is like an exact shade match for that so this is a very very natural blush but anyways i digress when i saw that i was like oh my god i want to buy it so bad but i just i can't justify over two thousand dollars for something something so small are you crazy are you absolutely crazy so just random little updates that I feel like have already been going on but I just noticed them. I'm sure a lot of you Luwebi lovers have noticed but I used to, I mean I still do honestly, one in Amazona just because I feel like that'll complete my little Luwebi. I mean I do need an, a basket bag too, a Rafia bag and the Amazona and then I'll complete like my little Luwebi collection even though you know secretly I'm gonna keep buying flamencos because I definitely want another regular sized one but anyways they discontinued the Amazona 19. It is no longer on the website. I mean I did notice this actually a couple months ago but I've never brought it up so I I wonder if any of you guys notice it as well so the amazon 16 is no joke the same size as the celine mini 16 the 19 bag was so perfect i think i saw i don't know if it was ursula from casa de papel that had the 19 size or somebody else but like i wanted the 19 so bad and i didn't know it was a seasonal or maybe it was permanent and it just didn't do well so they stopped selling it so they still have the 16 size and then it jumps all the way to the 23 i believe and then they have the even longer ones but what i loved about the 19 it was just like the perfect size it's like smaller than a speedy 25 but big enough that it could like fit a good amount and then i saw it speaking of the real real i saw the 19 on the real real and it was sold out oh my god i honestly i'm glad that it sold out because i would have bought it but it was so discounted normally i think the amazon 19 like retail price was like 2500 maybe around there and then on the real real it was like 1200 dollars. like what i no joke would have bought it and it had the anagram embroidery which was my favorite because they had it in the tan and like the navy black and then the green color like the rosemary color all of those i would have accepted so but yeah going back to it do you see how natural this blush is it literally looks like i have no blush on but it just adds a little bit of color to my face okay I, I it's really difficult for me to like talk and do my makeup truly now honestly if i see another amazon 19 i might just break and buy it because i really 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 wanted that bag i just 
was just putting it on the back burner for now another thing really small i'm sure a lot of you guys have already noticed especially you chanel lovers but how the chanel is now called instead of like the classic flap it's now called 11.12 which I think is very interesting and just really confusing. I mean, I guess they're trying to make it like the 255, the 22, the 31. They're trying to make everything into numbers, I guess. I don't know. I don't like 11.12. It's just weird to me because everyone knows that it's called the flap. Like everybody knows that it's called the flap. So it's just strange that they randomly did that but they actually did this i think they i think i looked it up and they actually made the change two years ago or maybe even three years ago but it wasn't recent i just really noticed it recently like maybe three months ago i noticed it and i was like huh that's so weird after the classic flaps passed 7,000, i honestly just stopped looking at it i was like oh my god i don't even i don't even want to know i'm not even going to entertain these thoughts so so many people have been using these like chanel balmy sticks but these are pretty expensive but i feel like they last a long time and seasonally they come out like with really cool colors i have it in the shade sculpting love that but it is kind of sticky like if you want that glossy texture i think it's nice but it is kind of sticky so i'm gonna actually set mine with one of my favorite highlighters it's the tom ford highlighter it's really like this shade right over here it's like this it looks taupey but it's so natural like so natural i love it i love it and then the last like mini update so you guys know lady dior bags my all-time favorite bag of all time okay i'll live and breathe and say that confidently however i noticed because i've been seeing a couple people's lady dior unboxing videos is that they changed the dust bag for the lady dior now it says lady dior whereas before if you got a lady dior it would come with a swan dust bag for example so if you buy a dior bag it basically looks like this like the gold whereas if you buy a lady dior bag it actually now says lady in black font which to me i don't know if you guys like it that's totally fine but for me it's just strange to me when it's this is gold and then it just says lady in black thin font i don't know to me it doesn't look right it kind of weirdly looks i'm gonna say i'm gonna say the infamous trigger words in the handbag community is that it kind of gives me knockoff vibes i don't like it so let me think when did i get my lady dior bag in like 2021 so in 2021 and before is that if you buy a lady dior bag it's kind of like chanel wears their classic bag gets a different dust bag to make it more special so if you buy any other chanel bag it's black with white font but if you buy a classic flap it has the coco chanel head on it it has the quilting and it's white and it's also that really nice like felt fabric whereas before if you bought a lady dior bag you would get the dust bag with the swan on it and i actually really like it i think it made it special it just made me think of princess diana because she is honestly like a swan and it's just really nice you could tell it's like a hand-drawn design i mean i'm not exactly sure i haven't really looked it up but i just really really like that but now they changed their dust bag and it says lady and i don't know how do you guys feel about that i wonder when they implemented that i know at least within like the last year they implemented it but i just feel like it's so sad i love how special it was oh my god i'm eating powder it's like one of the only sad things is that when i do eventually get more lady dior bags it'll just say the lady at least change the font at least make it cursive or something to make it special i just feel like it doesn't match because it's like the gold and then you have the black i don't know it just it's not cohesive to me i don't feel Alrighty. so the next thing i want to talk about is my recent obsession with emerald color bags and i mean ob obsessed there's this hermes color called vert jade which is basically their version of emerald which i think is absolutely stunning okay and you guys know that i've mentioned before that monet actually i think i'm pronouncing that wrong one of you guys corrected me but i honestly forgot how you guys made it look phonetically so i'm sorry if me saying it incorrectly bothers you but monet had this emerald bag too in their gabrielle which was like what really pierced my soul and then lueve recently came out with their version of emerald in in their new flamenco purse they have it in the mini size and the regular and i think it's like to die for it is like the definition of a jewel toned bag which i absolutely love and adore also i bought 
bought this palette it's in the shade nude dress i bought this purely because i saw this one magazine article that said that jisoo wore this exact eyeshadow palette for one of the photos i'm gonna see if i can find it but she looked absolutely stunning so that's why i bought this i'm really influenced that easily just thinking back to it there were so many emerald bags that i saw they had an emerald color in the saddle like two years ago and then they had this emerald ava bag as well and i'm just like i really missed out and now i just i'm so obsessed with emerald bags it's so crazy to me so the top two jewelry pieces that i'm leaning towards right now is honestly seeing all this zendaya promo and she's always wearing bulgari jewelry is i really want the tri gold ring it's kind of like this chunky ring i was honestly in between the coco crush or this but i just love that this is tri gold so i was back and forth on the trinity ring as well because you can get three golds on that but i don't know there's just something about bulgari that just has a very maximum impact but it's very low-key at the same time and 1000 percent and zendaya influenced me to want this ring i just see so many pictures or campaigns of them wearing the bulgari b01 ring and i just think it's so cute but it's so expensive for this little chunky ring it's like 2800 dollars and then the other jewelry piece that i want i have mentioned in my luxury wish list video is i want the messica bracelet but now i want the more expensive one so before i wanted the one that's like 900 dollars where it's just pave diamond but now i actually want the ones where there's two additional diamond pieces on the side so that's tragic because now it's like $500 more expensive because I want that one so unfortunate and then I have mentioned it already that I am planning on going to Japan at the end of April with my mom we're having another kind of little family trip or I guess girls trip with my mom and my two aunts I'm actually planning on getting the mini Anju in Japan and a Lueve personalized charm so we shall see I would love to go to the Lueve location in Omotesando because that's like I want to say it's like a flagship store but they also have this whole other like leather making or leather repair area i just think i've seen videos of it and it just looks really really nice but the main thing is the mini anju because i wanted to save money because obviously you can get potentially 10 percent off i don't know how it works exactly on bags because i've actually never bought a designer bag in japan but i could get potentially 10 percent off and then the conversion rate it would be like less than two thousand dollars so definitely saving money there however which brings me to one of my main points if you guys have been an og follower then you guys know that i've been wanting the mini Anjou. I remember the first time I ever went into the Goyard store easily like four or five years ago and I saw the mini Anjou and I thought it was really cute and I was like oh how much is this me not knowing anything yet I think at the time it was like $2,300 and in my head I was like wait what this bag is so small why in God's name is this $2,300 but then the Goyard Artois MM is cheaper than the mini Anjou it just was so crazy to me and I couldn't justify it at the time and then now I know quote-unquote it's because it's reversible so there is less leather lined which gives it that extra like $700 boost so retail price in 2023 the mini anju was 2590 I wrote it down but I remembered it then recently I saw I think it's either purse bop or purse form I don't remember but they were saying that Goyard actually had a price adjustment in the US I don't know if it happened in Europe but for sure in the US price adjustment aka a price decrease now retail if you go to the Goyard store I'm gonna assume in New York as well but in Beverly Hills it is $2,420 so it basically had a hundred dollar price decrease and don't get me wrong a hundred dollars is not that much but I mean a decrease is a decrease and I'll take what I can get so now I'm actually happy that I've been waiting on the mini anju because I have been wanting it for a while and I finally decided this is the year that I'm gonna get my mini anju and my micro d joy but it's not just so interesting that goyard like goyard of all things being so reclusive they don't have prices on their website or anything like that they had a price decrease I just thought that was very very interesting but I believe it's only on the anju line but the saint louis and everything like that they actually might have got an increase but just i know a lot of you guys equally love the mini anju too so i just thought that was really interesting and then speaking more about pricing my selena say actually informed me that selena is gonna have a global price increase sometime between the 8th and the 13th my selena say told me there's gonna be a price increase because i told my selena say that i plan on getting the heloise sometime this year but i was leaning more towards the end of the year because the bag is permanent so i don't have to rush the color is permanent because you guys know the one that I want is the tan and then she tells me that there's going to be a price increase and I'm like 
why why are you doing this like i'm trying to stay on track getting my mini anjou and my micro d joy and then now the heloise so the heloise right now is 3450 i believe i mean i'm gonna guess that it's gonna jump from maybe like 200 dollars. i feel like in general when it's a newer bag style the increases are more minor because i remember when the celine mini 16 first came out it was 3200 and then it got a hundred dollar price increase so it wasn't too too bad and then obviously now because it got even more popular then it got like a 400 dollar price increase oh my gosh now it makes me wonder i wonder how much the mini 16 is going to increase imagine it hits 4k <gasps> that'd be crazy that'd be madness i hope they only do 3900 like as in 200 dollars, but we shall see and then also really quick what i noticed is that if you guys have seen my last shopping vlog i bought a celine cap the c one i've been after it i think it actually that one actually came out in 2021 it was when i first saw lisa wear it when she had her mini 16 and i just adored the entire fit so i've been wanting that hat for a very very long time but it was seasonal and just recently like a couple months ago they actually brought the cap and made it permanent i actually found a screenshot from sometime last year where it shows the price so the cap right now is very expensive it's 590 dollars but i'm gonna put my screenshot right here when i first found out that it became permanent and then i added it to my cart just to like pretend i'm buying it i think it was like 500 dollars or 490 maybe but it basically had like a 90 dollar price increase which i also think is interesting so it's not just bags that get price increased it's accessories too and then the last thing that i wanted to discuss was okay drum roll please guys there is going to be a lueve price increase on april 16th i recently went into lueve just because i wanted to finally see the flamenco purse in person like with the chain which update i absolutely love it i'm obsessed i think it's gorgeous you cannot buy the chain separately like they won't be selling it it has to be as a unit together and then my essay actually wasn't there that day but the essay that i talked to because she saw me trying it on she was like oh just letting you know that there's going to be a price increase on the flamenco purse on april 16th so she was being so nice so she was like you have time to think about it see what you want to do but she checked because she had like a whole list of the things that were going to be price increased so i don't remember exactly because i didn't want to like pry and push on it but the flamenco purse i believe the big one or the small one but i'm leaning towards the big one will have a 100 price increase so if you were looking to get either the mini or the large one there's going to be a hundred dollars i mean a hundred dollars isn't that bad like to me it's doable to what probably like four percent or something but i even was telling her i was like wait this bag literally just came out no joke one month ago and it's already getting a price increase so then it makes me worried like what is the regular flamenco gonna be is the regular flamenco gonna get like a 300 dollars price increase what about the hammock what about the puzzles so if you guys are thinking about getting a flamenco purse maybe get one now because she said the price increase will be happening on april 16th so i'm just letting you guys know what they told me isn't that so crazy so recap chanel had their price increase march 27th celine is having their price increase sometime between april 8th to april 13th and then lueve is having a price increase on april April 16th which makes me so nervous because does that mean that Dior is next because you guys know I really just want Dior to have their price increase like sometime in July but like not anytime soon like please 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 I, I'm not trying to be irresponsible out here but yeah did any of you guys know that this is my finished makeup just for going out to get a bite and then also I'm gonna be adding this tint I see Aoi Ihara and two other Japanese models that I follow they love these Chanel like lip and cheek tints I mean they use it on their cheek but i only use this on my lip but this is the color that i have aoi ihara she has the color in brick and now i want it but these are so expensive i think these are like 48 dollars yeah that's that's just like kind of pricey i bought this in singapore but i do like the color of this it's kind of like a deep like a burgundy berry color they do have like a more berry color it's not like too too berry but yeah so this is the finished makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed today's let's talk about it but as always thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you guys enjoyed please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys